Remove the new capillary array from the packaging. Using two fingers, press down on the plastic clips to remove the electrode cover from the header of the array. While holding the detection cell window with your left hand, hold the front of the array header with your right hand and slide it into the housing. Push it firmly against the back. Swing the array header latch closed and push in the snap pin connector to lock it in place. Click Array Info in the wizard to verify array information. After verifying array information, click Next in the software. One thing to note, the array carries a RFID tag, as with all of the consumables, allowing the software to record the type of array, lot number, number of injections, and expiration date. The RFID tag is located inside the circular portion of the array housing. The RFID rests in this opening. It doesn't snap or lock into place. Next, remove the cover from the array tip by unscrewing the storage vial. Next, the detection cell. Be careful when removing the detection cell window cover not to touch the detection cell window. Remove the cover by pressing on both sides of the clip and gently pulling the clip away. The detection cell can be held on the edges, being careful not to touch the uncovered surface. The detection cell window should always be protected. If accidentally touched, the window can be cleaned with methanol. However, best practice is to hold the sides of the detection cell window at all times, once the cover is removed and ensure it remains free of any residue or scratching. Place the tip into the array port, aligning the rectangular part horizontally into the array port. Notice there is not a need to twist the array. Once positioned, turn the lock mechanism about one quarter turn clockwise to tighten. Again, note the silver pin can be used as a guide for loosening and tightening the array into position. Once tightened, click Next. There are four prongs on the corners of the detection cell, and when properly installed, they fit and lock the detection cell in the detection cell heater block. The detection cell cannot be pushed straight into the detection cell heater block. It requires some slight manipulation. First, grab the sides of the detection cell and with a slight downward angle, put the top two prongs in the top of the heater block and then swoop the bottom two prongs into place. When correctly placing the detection cell, you will feel a slight spring resistance. View the detection cell from the side to ensure it is laying flat in the window. Once in place, a gentle tug of the cell will show little to no movement of the cell. An improperly placed detection cell array may be torqued or not lay flat in the window and may show movement. Please ensure there is no movement of the detection cell window before closing and locking the detection cell heater block door. At this point, ensure that all three points of contact are tightened, closed. Array tip, detection cell block door, and array latch header. Close the oven door and then click Next on the computer. Now that the array is properly installed, follow the prompts on screen to finish the installation wizard, clicking Next after each step is performed. These steps include the Prime Pump command which fills the system with fresh polymer. After the Prime Pump command, the wizard will ask if bubbles are present around the pump block channels. Take a close look at the pump block and channels. The interior light can be turned on for better viewing. There are three options for addressing bubbles based on the position of the bubbles in the pump block. Some bubbles are present before the array port. Bubbles are present only after the array ports. All bubbles are gone. The difference before or after the array port signifies how much polymer will be pushed through the system. More polymer is used if bubbles are present prior to the array port. Please select the option that best fits. Repeat as necessary to remove all bubbles. Once all bubbles are removed, select Bubbles are Gone and then click Next.